Hey everyone, Star Scorecard series, right? This is cheat code 5.3F. We're dealing with division, we're gonna have quotients, division of decimals, so we're up to the hundredths place using pictures. So before we did multiplication using pictures and models, now we're doing division of decimals using pictures and models. We have to know the vocab, dividend, divisor, quotient. The dividend is divided by the divisor, which gives us the quotient, which is our answer, the answer to a division problem, quotient. Okay? Area, the size of a surface in an area model, a model for math problems where the length and width are configured using either multiplication, percentage, or fractions to figure the size of an area. So these are area models. Okay. One thing that we need to know is the, the model is shaded to represent two and sixty hundredths. So they gave us a number in word form. So this is one, two, sixty hundredths, sixty out of a hundred, or we like we deal with decimals, sixty hundredths. Break that down, right? You're always you're gonna you're uh, very very frequently you're gonna have these grids. A hundred grid, a hundred squares is one, or maybe ten squares is one, depending. But here you have one, so that's a hundred. Now you have one, so one plus one is two, and then sixty out of a hundred. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty hundredths is the same thing as saying six tenths, right? Look at the six and the tenths place. So, which equation represent is represented by the, this model? Look at here's the model: two and sixty hundredths. One, two, and sixty hundredths. Hmm. Does that look like a multiplication? No, it doesn't look like multiplication. We're not getting bigger. We have what we have. What is this doing? All of these circles are dividing it. And notice they're going across. So this is 20 squares, 20 squares, 20, 20, 20. These are all identical. 20, 20. Okay? So we know that it, it's even. So it's be, it's a division problem. Right? So 2 and 60 hundredths. 2.6, so that's easy. We got that divided by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 0.52. That's awesome. So look, 20, 40, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 2 is 12. What is 40 plus 12? 40 plus 12 equals 52. 52 out of 100, 52 hundredths. This is the issue. This is this is division using pictures and graphs and models. Okay, some people see the math a little easier than others, but I just kind of want to, to break it down for you, and, and hopefully, hopefully you understand. Which model represents the equation one point two? Remember, this is one, right? That's that's a whole one. Why? Because it's the full square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's nine, there's ten, right? There's ten lines. If you have ten out of ten, if you have ten dimes, how much money do you have? Well, a dime is one-tenth of a dollar. If you have ten of them, you have a full dollar. Okay? So, 1.2 divided by three. Whoa. Let's, first off, let's do this. Let's find 1.2. This is... One, two, three, yeah, okay, but 1.2? All right, that's one, and then two out of 10. It's, F is close, but it's wrong. It doesn't, it doesn't quite make sense because you're not dividing them, you're not, things aren't equal. Okay, in division, you're gonna always have it equal numbers at the end, equal groups. Uh, there's two, no, that doesn't make sense. This one, you have, okay, 1.2. 1.2, 1.2. That's multiplication. That's tricky. Because it, it's everything's kind of correct, but it's, it's, it's getting bigger. So J is not right. Look, you have 1.2, right? Divided by 3. Watch this. 1, 
0.2 divided by 3. First thing we do is raise our decimal. 3 goes into 1 0 times. 3 goes into 12 4 times. Whoa, look at this. 4 tenths is the answer, right? In these squares, each group is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The only difference is there's a space here. That is the answer. H is the answer. Okay, we're going to come back to that in a second. All right. This model is shaded to represent the number 2 and 20 hundredths. 2.20 hundredths, right? So 2.2. 2. 1, 1, point 0.1, and point 0.1. Okay, so there we go. Which equation is represented by this model? Look, it's the same thing, right? We had this two questions ago. 2.2, this is 2.2, and notice there, it's being divided across evenly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2.2, okay, everything's the same here, divided by, well, we need to have, um, yeah, divided by, how many is it divided by? It's divided by 10, because there's 10, there's 10 circles, or 10 groups. Here's our answer, A. Okay, I mentioned this earlier, but anytime you see a graph or a model, an area model, this is going to be one. Like the entire thing, if it's shaded, it's one. This is one, and it deals with hundredths place, right? Because there's a hundred squares. This is one. It's all, the whole thing shaded, and it deals, It's look, it's tenths. It only deals with tenths. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One is one. It doesn't matter if you divide it by ten or if you divide it by a hundred. Okay. Here is the answer to our to our second question. And I wanted to show you enlarged. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. Those are even. One, two, three, four. This is how the star test is going to try to trick you. It has different size groups, right? This is the smallest, second smallest, and the largest. But the content inside, what is actually circled, is exactly even. It's four tenths, four tenths, and four tenths. So be careful when you take the star test. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.